So this segment is uh, to explain how to set up your email domains and your DNS. We've got some new DNS requirements coming out of uh, Yahoo Mail and Gmail uh, that require DMARC among other things. Uh, hopefully you already had those things set, but I know a lot of people don't and they're having some confusion. Emails are getting bounced back uh, as of yesterday. So here's what we're gonna do. We, we're in our dashboard for our sub account that we wanna connect an email um, address to or an email domain. We're gonna go to settings. We're gonna go to email services. And then we're gonna add a service. Uh, I'm sorry, that's incorrect. We're gonna add a de dedicated domain. And we're gonna call this one um, reply.proformguard.com or you could call it anything well you know we'll call it mail one whatever and we're going to add it now this is a little bit specific to uh, doing things for namecheap and it may vary based on who you get your domain with uh, but there's a couple of little things that happen here. So when we update our DNS record, there's two ways we can do this. We can do this if we have shared hosting on Namecheap, we can do it through the cPanel using Zone Editor. You can just go up to the search box, type in Zone, it'll pop up Zone Editor, click on it. And you can start, and then you select your domain, hit Manage. I'll show you this in a minute. The other way that I actually prefer is to use the advanced DNS within the Namecheap uh, login. And that looks like, um, this as opposed to this. Here's the thing, when we make these records, if you look here, this record has the root domain in it. Same here. So our subdomain is mail1, but you see the root domain in all of these gets applied. When you update this in Namecheap, you've actually got to take that root out for the host. So watch this. So we're gonna put this text record in right here. I'm gonna copy it. I'm gonna to go to my advanced DNS. Right here under this section, this is where everything except the MX records goes. I'll show you the MX records down here in a second. But we add the record. It's a text record. And when we paste it, you notice this whole root ends up in here. We're gonna just take that out. Because uh, they kind of uh, basically uh, Namecheap automatically puts it in there for you. This part we're going to copy as is and we'll paste it in there and hit save. Then we got another text record to add, I believe. Yeah. And again, it's just going to need the root domain, so I'll type that in and then we'll speak up Oops. Mail one and then we save it and then we're gonna add our C name and that's gonna be mail one actually I think it's email dot mail one hang on yeah email dot mail one And then we'll pull our target, which is the mailgun.org. Put that in. Tell it save. All right. So you're going to notice if you try to add a record up here and you're looking for the MX, it's not there. Your MX record is actually going to be down here in mail settings. So we just go to custom MX. Our host. So we have two MX records, one that MXA, one's MXB. Uh, again, we just need the roots for this. So if we copy that whole thing, put it in there, we gotta pull that part out. And this is mail A. Save. Oops, priority one. Save. Then we add a new record. We're gonna make it mail one and this is going to be mxb one boom all right so those records are now updated 
if you were doing it again, if you do this in, um, you know, here, for example, um, let's just cancel that. Let's add a record. We're going to put, um, so that, that uh, was email.mail1. I'm going to arrow over. See how that automatically put in the root for me? So if I had typed in email.mail1 at proformguard.com or whatever, I'm not on proformguard.com, it would automatically, oops, <laughs> proformguard.com. Then it, it, when I when I jump out of here, it's gonna, oops. oh, my tab key just broke. See how it adds it in there? It adds whatever this is in there. All right, so you just wanna be careful that you're only putting that particular record in. All right, now we'll, um, we're just gonna go back over here. It's had a minute to propagate. Let's see if it verifies. Okay, so you'll notice it hasn't verified yet. It has taken some time for these to propagate. So we'll go ahead and give it another whirl. No, it doesn't like that. It's gonna make us wait. So I'll put this on pause. Okay, so I didn't even get to click this button again before it updated all this is verified. So now we're connected. There's one more DNS record that you're gonna to have to get in and that's called a DMARC record, a demarcation. And so the domain in this case, and you can just use the root domain. You don't need to use the other. I recommend that you use the reject. If you want any reporting sent back, you need to set up an email um, for that. And set your subdomain policy. I like that for reject. Strict, strict. generate uh oh something was missing here yeah a rule tag interesting yeah this was weird it should be good to go uh, but we'll copy this and we'll just take this back over here and um, this is a it's just a text record, boom, at underscore D mark. So here's how this works. We're gonna go up here. We're gonna add this text record, put underscore D mark. And then we'll paste in our value. So now we have a D mark record. And that should get you going. If this is helpful, give it a like. If it's not, comment and land base me. Let me know what's wrong. Um, this should be current as of February 2024. And I hope this is helpful to you.